Hey everyone, I'm Angel Corrine. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making two recipes which I think make for a really cool breakfast. The first recipe I'm making is s'mores, Starbucks coffee. So I'm basically going to try and make like the homemade version of their s'mores frappuccino. Starbucks is s'mores uh, frappuccino. But um, it's not a frappuccino, it's just a nice coffee. And then I'm going to make chocolate croissants. And they're really, really easy. You can make them like in no time. So the first recipe I'm going to be making is the s'mores coffee. Uh, if you don't want to see the how to make this first coffee, you can just go down to the comment section and I'll put the timestamp below to skip ahead to the chocolate croissants. Okay, so basically, this is going to be a s'mores iced coffee. I'm not making it a frappuccino. I'm just making a s'mores iced coffee. So I got this idea. I wanted a s'mores Starbucks coffee, but it's only like seasonal or something. So I thought I'd make my own. And I looked up how to do that, and I found this recipe here from this website. And I'm not copying that recipe. I'm just, like, making my own version because this recipe calls for ice cream, and I don't want to do that. I know that's probably the use ice cream so it can be, like, a frappuccino, but for me, that's more like a milkshake, so I'm not using ice cream. I just made my own version using, like, that uh, recipe as, like, a template. So let me get started. So I have this. Um, I'm not trying to do any more. <laughs> I have this here, this blender here, because we're going to blend everything together. So, I made, this is coffee. This is, I made in one cup of instant coffee. You can use, you can just like brew your own coffee or maybe even use a K-cup, like a curry cup, but I prefer instant. So it's up to you, whatever coffee you want to use. So I just use this classic decaf instant coffee. So I made it. I made this big uh, one cup for me. I'm just making one serving for myself. If you're making for like multiple people, like yeah, like when I make for me and my mom, I use two cups of coffee, and then I'll explain the rest of the recipe. Like like two marshmallows instead of one, two pieces of chocolate instead of one. But since it's just me, I'm using one piece of chocolate, one marshmallow, one cup of coffee. So I'm gonna pour this as delicately as delicately as I can into this. I was actually really, really scared that it was going to drip. And it didn't happen. Yay. Okay, there's the coffee. I, um, this is a hot coffee. I made it in the microwave. I think the coffee melts better when the water's hot. But this is still a nice coffee. Although I guess you could make it a hot coffee if you wanted to and not add ice, but I'm gonna add like, ice later. So, here's the coffee, and I have a piece of chocolate right here. I melted it. I used, it was a little bigger than that, <laughs> but it melted, because I melted it in the microwave. Because I figured I'm not going to just throw, like, a, like um, a piece of chocolate in here. I'm going to melt it. I'm going to pour all this chocolate into the blender. Okay, the chocolate's in there. I'm going to take one marshmallow. And then I'm going to... Okay, just ignore the oven. Okay, so now I have one marshmallow, the piece of chocolate, and the coffee. And I'm going to blend all of this together. Okay, so I just blended everything. And this is what it looks like. It's all like frothy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into this glass here. That marshmallow did not blend very well. But that's okay. And then you have a little left. So you can always just get more if you want more. I'm going to get ice. Because I'm making this a cold cup of coffee. And then, this is what it looks like. I have ice in there. I'm going to get whipped cream. Because 
I want to make it all proper. There we go. I put whipped cream and now for the final touch, a graham cracker crumble. So I have a piece of graham cracker right here and I'm basically just going to, let me move the camera. Basically just going to crumble this. like they do on Starbucks. I think if you really wanted to, you could um, put graham cracker like itself into the coffee mix. You can really just make this recipe your own. So let's try it. So see, look how pretty it looks. It's really good. And you can add more chocolate if you want, more more marshmallow if you want. It's all up to you. The way I remixed, <laughs> I have gluten free money. The way I remixed this with me from that original recipe is the way you can remix this. So now onto the chocolate croissants. But if you don't want to see the chocolate croissants, then I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try out the recipe, and I hope you have a good day or night. Okay, now onto the chocolate croissants. Okay, chocolate croissant recipe. So I got this idea pretty much a long time ago maybe because I love to watch that show below deck and they have they serve the gifts chocolate croissants on there and I figured out how to make my own at home so basically I got this uh these crescent rolls that you just like open and then you just pull one out this is actually a really long one so basically I'm just gonna get some Hershey's chocolate just like I did for the coffee and I have a little piece here Put that in the middle. You can put more chocolate on, put more. Look, I'm gonna put two little pieces, and then you somehow kind of like roll them up. Well, I just made it like that. And then I'm gonna put them right here. I put it on a baking sheet. That's just the rest of the croissant roll, you see. And I'm gonna bake them for the appropriate time that's set on the can so it did like something like 10 minutes but I'll probably make it for longer because I don't know if they'd be done in 10 minutes and I already have my oven set so I'll see you when they're done okay so I put the croissants they were in there for a little bit over 10 minutes and here's one put so oh my god <laughs> it's just like okay well now I have to clean my computer <laughs> um it looks so cute is what I was trying to say so, I'm going to go ahead and dig in. Oh, look at that. You can see the chocolate a little bit right there. Let's try. They're really good. I mean, it is a simple recipe. You just buy frozen croissants and wrap them put chocolate and wrap them up but simple but it sounds fancy like chocolate croissants I guess you could go like a step farther and like make your own croissants from scratch but if you want an easy alternative this will do so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night bye